Okay, this is the uh, BIX40, or B-I-T-X-40. Got it all wired up and hooked up. Uh, let you see uh, what's going on here. So this is the uh, B-I-X-T-40. It's a single sideband, 40 meter transceiver. $45 total cost, that includes shipping. You can see I've uh, put the uh, antenna con connection on the board and uh, the, the power, I've hooked it to the board. I'm using uh, vice grips just to hold the uh, tuning, tuning pot and the volume control so I can operate it with one hand. But basically the board comes already pre-assembled and tested. And all you do is take these components, the, uh, like the, uh, the tuning pot and the uh, power uh, jack, and you wire the cable on it. And they provide you with cables that have the little, uh, the little plug on the end. And you just plug it on the board right here. And they're all marked, and the instructions are very clear. Let's see how this thing sounds. I've got it hooked up to... An 80, I mean, to a uh, 40 meter inverted V. I'm gonna turn it up and I'm gonna tune it. Sounds like a pot's a little dirty. The volume control is a little noisy. I'm going to have to fix that. Let's see, get down in the CW band. That's pretty good in the CW. Yes, the security fraud and not paying an uh, employee, uh, employer withholding tax for your employees is also fraud. That's a terrible idea. So uh, that's kind of a demonstration of the uh, BT, oh, the BXT40 single sideband transceiver. The volume control is a little noisy when I turn it. It's got a lot of static in it. I need to spray some cleaner into the pot, and that will uh, that will fix that problem. 
Now I got to think about what kind of box uh, I need to put it on. Oh, also, um, I haven't transmitted yet. That'll be coming up next. But it's supposed to be about a 7-watt transmitter or, or more if you run a little bit more uh, DC voltage into it. And um, I think uh, I think it's a, a pretty nice little uh, transceiver out of the box. When I first got it, the the uh, there's a trimmer here or a capacitor right here that kind of sets the the band uh, pass or band width in the uh, 40 meter band. And uh, out of the box, this thing came up from about seven seven uh, megahertz to about. Uh, uh, 7200 so it really got the lower end of the CW but since it's a sideband transceiver I wanted to get more coverage up in the voice part so by adjusting this capacitor here I was able to move the entire uh, frequency band up in the 40 meter ham band and uh, now it's tuning about uh, 7100 to 7280 which gives you quite a bit of voice band. So, so far I'm uh, pretty pleased with it, the BITX40. Now it does drift and you're supposed to leave it on about 20 minutes before you start using it. Um, next step will be to put an Arduino DDS VFO on here, which is a very stable VFO with a digital readout. So uh, that's just an option. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with this board.